Hello friends, welcome to our channel Google Galaxy. Today we are going to discuss the Langmuir isotherm. To continue with this lecture, make sure that you have seen the previous part to continue with this lecture. We know that that the solids, the molecules of solids, has the maximum force of attraction as compared to liquid and gases. The in a solid, if a substance is solid. If we just diagnose with the help of X-ray, but we will found we will found the molecules are closely packed. Are closely packed. The molecules which is at the center are having somehow balanced forces as compared to surface molecules. This is what scientists observed while doing experiment. When the scientists were doing experiment, what they found that the surface of solid, the particles at the surface of solid, have unbalanced forces, which is the cause of, which is the cause, which cause the attraction of molecules, attraction of air particles, or liquid, which causes or because of unbalanced force. The surface particle has the tendency to attract the molecules of gas and liquid when they come in contact with with the top layer. So the substance which is going to stick on the surface we called as adsorbate, and the surface we called it as on which the substance is sticked. The surface we called it as or adsorbent. The surface we called as adsorbent. Remember one thing: there are two main factors which influence the adsorption. One is pressure. Another one is temperature. By changing these two important factors, we can change the limit of adsorption. For example, if I just lower the temperature. The amount of as the amount of substance which is which is going to stick on the surface will be more than that of normal temperature. Than that of normal temperature, we are talking about the isotherms. The two key factors that affect the adsorptions are pressure, are pressure, and the temperature. Remember one thing: we are talking about the isotherms. This is the name of the scientist who has developed a particular concept. And the Nobel Prize was awarded to to the to the scientist. What does isotherm means? Iso means same. Therm means temperature. Therm means temperature. It means that we are studying the amount of substance stick to stick on the surface. The amount of substance stick to the surface, keeping the temperature same by varying the Temperature. Sorry, by varying the pressure. I'll repeat again. We are just drawing, uh, draw a graph. We will drive a expression, keeping the temperature same by changing their pressure. The amount of substance is going to be stick on the surface. Remember two things that. That this whole process is happening in a closed container. This is the condition. That this whole process is happening in the closed container. As if this is if the if the whole process is happening in a closed container, what the scientists observed. Remember these two. these two points that this process is happening in the closed container another point is that after some time a stage reaches when the amount of substance adsorbed is equal to the amount of substance deabsorbed the after after particular time we call this stage as equilibrium stage after particular time after a certain Hours or certain days, but we found that the amount of substance, 
amount of substance that is stick to container stick to surface is equals to amount of substance amount of substance leaving surface leaving leaving surface leaving surface this that is what we called a stage which is when the amount of gas adsorbed becomes equal to the amount of gas deabsorbed this this condition will arise only when there is a con closed container and this state what we call this stage as equilibrium stage this stage we call it as equilibrium stage so what are the main features of this theory what the scientist write the features what the scientist understand the features regarding this experiment the main features the main features of this theory are as i told you this theory after after inventing this concept the nobel prize was given to this scientist so this theory can never be a wrong concept we have to just learn that the main feature we have to just understand and learn the main features of this theory what are the first what is the first main feature that the langmuir isomer is applied to only chemical adsorption is this langmuir applied only to chemical adsorption this is the main point chemical adsorption the second thing since it is a part of chemical adsorption so definitely a single layer is developed on the surface of solid a single layer of gas or liquid develop on this solid stick on the surface so we call it as it is unimolar uni molecular in nature now what is the third feature about this concept that the two opposite tendencies is happening in this process one is condensation what does condensation means condensation means over con here condensation means that the amount stick to on the surface the amount of substance stick on the surface we called as condensation is happening on the surface or we call it as adsorption adsorption of molecules on the surface and evaporation and evaporation we call it this one as d as d adsorption this option we call that of these molecules these two processes are happening simultaneously because it is happening in closed container and this stage is equilibrium when the stage reaches to equilibrium what does it mean the amount of substance stick stick on the surface the amount of substance both are similar of type so amount of substance stick on the surface is equal to the amount of substance leaving the surface that is evaporating that is evaporating okay the, the fourth feature is after understanding these features we will going to derive an expression of this langmuir isotherm the fourth feature is the rate of condensation that the rate of condensation is proportional to the uncovered surface uncovered surface of adsorbent of 
adsorbent while evaporation while that of evaporation is to the covered while we talk about the rate of this is the most important thing what the rate of evaporation what the scientists observed during an experiment that the how fast the condensation takes place depends upon uncovered surface how fast the rate of evaporation taking place is directly proportional to is directly linked with the covered surface more will be the covered area more will be the rate of evaporation lesser will be the covered area by the adsorbate lesser will be the rate of evaporation more uncovered area more will be the condensation this is the most important concept we use while derive while we drive an expression we know that that the with the passage of time more and more of the surface becomes covered as a result condensation decreases while that of evaporation increases till they become both equal that is equilibrium stage suppose i have a surface of solid which is of 1 square meter 1 square centimeter 1 square centimeter is to be exposed to is exposed to be to be uh, to the gas the gas particles will keep on striking on this surface of 1 square centimeter i just maintain the pressure p let uh, let be any time the amount of substance covered this surface or because adsorbate molecules will definitely cover the surface they will cover the surface let it be theta suppose the covered surface is theta this one is covered surface this one is covered another one is this is uncovered surface so overall overall value is 1 so it will be 1 minus theta if i just say 100% how much percentage it gives so we will deduct that amount of percentage so overall 100% is equals to 1 so from 1 minus theta that, that this much amount of area is covered by the adsorbate molecules so we will say the uncovered surface will be min 1 minus theta square centimeter so as i told earlier keeping the pressure maintaining the pressure the rate of condensation is de depends upon the uncovered area uncovered area is 1 minus theta so we will write it as rate of this is i am just doing the derivation over here right now derivation the rate of condensation condensation is directly proportional to 1 minus theta multiplied by p this is the formula this is the formula this is the concept that the more will this with the rate of condensation will directly proportional to the product of both area multiplied by pressure rate of condensation will depends upon the product of these two so similarly the rate of evaporation is directly proportional to the covered area so covered area is over theta so we will write as theta p so rate of evaporation will be directly proportional to theta removing this sign of directly proportional we will write as constant p constant theta this we we will write it as theta p so when an equilibrium stage reaches the amount of substance stick to the surface will be the amount of substance leaving the surface Well, so we can say at equilibrium, the both value will be will be equal to each other. So we will write in this form at equilibrium. We will write it as condensation is equal to evaporation, or by solving the theta we will find out keeping the theta to this side keeping the theta or i can say
we will get this necessary value so when an equilibrium stage we will find out the this value of theta when we dividing with the when we dividing by k2 when we dividing by the k2 constant so this is the derivation did by the scientist during that time so this derivation we have to learn as it is its derivation we have to learn in the similar manner in, in order to find out the amount of substance stick on the surface when there is a chemical adsorption taking place and a single layer is and it is unimolar in nature or, or I can say when only one molecule when one layer of molecule will stick on the surface when these two conditions are applicable to us we will have to learn this ex we will know, we will need to learn the result of this expression i'll repeat again when there is a rate of condensation we have we, uh, we are having the product of these two when we are having the rate of evaporation we will not we will not have a multiplication of p over here that is what we found by the scientist during an experiment that the rate of evaporation no doubt we will maintain the pressure p but the rate of rate of condensation will definitely definitely affected by the pressure but rate of evaporation is directly proportional to the covered area by dividing into and um, dividing by the k2 we will write this one as I just dividing with the k2 here I just write k1 over k2 as b b is a constant over here b is a constant over here now theta is proportional to the amount of get amount is directly proportional to the theta is directly proportional to the amount of substance adsorbed so we will write it as theta is directly proportional to x divided by m is equals to this is the amount of gas adsorbed or I can say you can cram this derivation this is already verified by the scientist you have to just learn the results but you must know how that how to solve this expression this one is the this one is the here a is constant and equal to the k3b here a is constant I'll repeat again here k is constant and equal to k3b so therefore we will write this one as that the amount of gas adsorbed on the surface will be 1 plus BP 1 plus BP this is all about the derivation of this is all about the Langemar isotherm